unlocking, customizing, and gameplay of the Bugatti La Voiture Noir. What's going on? My name is Sid, and welcome back to part two of Crewmas. Yes, I have made December 16th my own little holiday over here with the Crewmas, where I'm going to be uploading multiple videos on the crew and streaming twice over on my streaming channel. Link for that will be in the description. I uploaded another video earlier. The card for that will be up there right now. You can go check that out or you can watch me customize the Bugatti La Voiture Noir. New to the game, the new Elite Bundle with that and the Atlantic. The Atlantic will be the second part of this customization bit. This is in itself the second part of the Crewmas. Yes, I made a whole logo for a day that I'm never going to use again. So what's going on, my fellow reindeers? My name is Sid and you're watching a channel that surpassed 200 subscribers and is on the way to more and tomorrow i've got something in store planned to celebrate this little 200 mark that i've got so stay tuned subscribe check out the content let's get into the video and here we are in the crew 2 we're already in the hq no faffing about you can see the atlantic there we're gonna customize that thing later and we're customizing this thing right now. Subscribe to be notified when that video is out. Because I'm going to be doing both of those today as a part of the crewmas. And here it is. 2.4 million. Now, that's expensive, I guess. It's cheap considering how much they are separately. But what are you going to do? We have now purchased it. The Voiture Noir and the Atlantic. Let's go run over here and straight away... Let's drive this thing. Of course, it is snowing. Whoa, okay. This thing looks nice. Oh, that was a little crew two pop. This thing does look very nice. I can't even lie. Whoa, six, whoa, six exhausts. Is that not a bit overkill? Oh, wait, no, no. Most big guys have six ex I think the Devo has six exhausts. And the Sharon might have six exhausts as well, as far as I'm aware. It's got the spoiler. And I do believe it's Cristiano Ronaldo who owns this uh, this car. He bought it for $18 million, I believe that is. Pounds, I'm not sure how much it is. But he bought this thing for $18 million. And now in the crew, it's $2.6 million or something around that number. So why he didn't just come onto the crew and buy it here... I don't know. I guess we'll never know. He must have just gotten scammed by Bugatti, I guess. I'm kind of liking how this thing handles. I like the turbo. I like how it feels around turns. And just be aware that there is snow right now. So, obviously, all these turns aren't going to be being very productive just like that. But let's customize this thing. And hopefully, by the time we're done customizing it, it will have stopped snowing so we can actually have a good drive around in this thing i will toss it into an event later of course there's visual parts i don't know why i expected any different honestly i'm surprised bugatti even lets them change the rims to something like this like if we're not even allowed to change the the visual parts at all but we can change the rims to something like this were the rims not blue a second ago am i going crazy they must have been black I guess. Aggressive, to say the least. It's got the Bugatti, like, curve, that line thing. But obviously, it's more, you know, tiny. It's a very long car. It's a very, very long car. That's for sure. Uh, well, let's head over into the vanities. Let's see what we can customize this with vanity-wise. Just before I get into the vanity... Oh, wait, what? Oh, you're not allowed a livery or a color. It remains black. Oh, okay, I guess. Just because of how it's insanely tight they are with what things they want to let you use with this thing. I would be baffled if this thing came out with like a, a Summit car version or an exclusive version. Because the Chiron has the Carbon Chiron and the Volt Interception Chiron. The Diva has the Magma Diva and the Veyron has the Deep Blue and the Edition 1. So I would honestly be baffled if this thing came out with its own Summit or Exclusive Edition just because it seems like Bugatti is just having none of the crew's customization. Not that they would even know what to customize it with considering it's such a, such a 
rare car, and I doubt Cristiano Ronaldo is going to be customizing it. So where would they even get the parts? Like, how would they know what to customize it with? I think just because of that, we'll keep the vanities a bit subtle, maybe. We won't put on the snowman smoke. We'll put on just the subtle grey smoke. The low poly grey smoke. I like the silver smoke. It looks good. And boost-wise, I guess we'll go... I want to go something cool, especially with six, six exhausts. We'll go with the bat nitro. We'll go with the bat nitro. Underglow. I, the thing is, the thing is, companies like Ferrari in this game limit the amount of nitros you're actually allowed to put on the cars. Like there's only a certain amount of nitros you're allowed to put on most cars on Ferraris. So I'm surprised Bugatti gave them this thing and just went... Yeah, but just put whatever on it, you know. I'll put red. And instead of bat nitro, we'll put hot chili just because, you know, just unlocked it. And the windows are pre-tinted, so you could honestly barely even tell what window tint you have on it. Horn-wise, obviously. There we go. But... So you're not allowed to put the Christmas one... But you can make it a police car. How could I not? In what world could I not do that? I might take it off for the photo that I take for it. The thumbnail, whatever. But come on. It's going to be a police car for now. I just, I cannot help myself. It has to be. I'm obviously growing even more uncertain as to this, this car. I just... I'm not too sure on it sometimes. Especially considering they've gone with the route that you're not even able to change the colour of it at all. Here it is. And yeah, the smoke obviously works how it works. I probably shouldn't have put that window tint on it because you can kind of see it. <laughs> put this thing on top of it. So I don't know if it makes too much of a difference. Let's drive this thing to the starting line. Yeah, oh, and that seems very very drift happy i'm i don't know i want to like this car it looks like a car I'd like what does the nitro look like eh, that's not worse i guess it would work on yellow and orange cars yellow and red but i don't like how it's still snowing you know what screw this i'm gonna wait till it stops snowing here we go the snow has stopped so we're gonna take this thing back into the event with actually i, I like the spoiler i like the way the spoiler handles i not too sure about how it looks when the spoiler isn't out you know what i guess it's kind of meant to look from the back like it's got like um if you took the atlantic but like stretched it it's got that kind of look i would say boy does this thing like to drift but let's hope it can actually control itself at high speeds the spoilers up and off we are into the event and like i said i play on remote play so I can't see too much when I'm filming myself. Everything just kind of appears. Like, you know how traffic just appears sometime in this game? It's that, but like for everything. Oh, uh, what? <laughs> okay, we're back on it. We're back on the road. We're doing this race. I don't want to say it's got potential. I don't want to say it's got Devo potential because the Magma Devo is currently the best hypercar in the game. Like, by miles. By many, many miles. So, I'm not sure if this thing would be to that level. I don't think it would be. I keep spinning out. But you never know. Once a core puts his pro settings on a car, you never know how good it could be. He could, honestly, if you let that man loose on some pro settings, he could win against you. When you're in a hurricane... And he's in the bloody Volkswagen Beetle. <laughs> of course, of course, a madman. And his pro settings are the one I use because they're the one that's all over the Google Docs. And he's done one for every car, so it's reliable. At least it's consistency. So you can get used to one and then you can get used to them all. So once he makes pro settings for this thing, maybe this thing could even be the next best hypercar. Like, you never know with this game. You honestly, absolutely never know. Well, pop this back into first person for a bit i don't like the road i've chosen to go to first person on it's very carbon fiber i'll give you that i, I can imagine 
I've just realized that the window looks angry because it... Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, yeah. We're not going first person. But yeah, because the window's round. <laughs> it looks angry, I guess. But it's... I'm still kind of torn on this car. Didn't they only make, like, two or something? And it's uh, meant to do with the Atlantic because the Atlantic was, like, this big... Like, there was this something where one went missing, so they made this in honor of it, I want to say. I want to see garbage. Like, I'm actually... I'm actually... How do I have any cars in this game? How how, how have I got on Platinum in any summit? What is transpiring right now? Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There we go, and I'm back on the road. <laughs> you know, I just... The, it kind of does ruin the car slightly, the topper. I guess if I wanted a professional looking actual Voice La Voice Noir, I'd want to take off the topper. But you know, maybe I don't want that. Maybe I don't want that. Who's going to force me, huh? Who's going to force me? Not you. In fact, what you could do is go down there, subscribe. Leave a like on this video if you did enjoy it. Stay tuned to see what I've got planned for my 200 subscriber video. I didn't want to pick up those parts. I've got something in store. That'll be out tomorrow, though. Because today is Krumus. Carrying on Krumus is one more video. And then expect me streaming on my second channel. Link for that will be in the description. It'll be at the top of the description. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. Do leave a like. Do subscribe if you're new to the channel. I'm still here making content. That's about it for me in this one. See you in a couple hours. In a bit.